The historic city of Valletta is a place we visited a few times whilst cruising in the Mediterranean, and we've always said, well, we must go back there someday and have a proper explore. So that's exactly what we're doing on a Jet 2 weekend city break that we booked through Hayes Travel in Bridport. And we set out from Birmingham bright and early and eager to return to this wonderful city packed with history, culture and tasty food. Our three hour flight was painless and we soon found ourselves back in the warm Malta sunshine. Our transfer to our hotel was included and with an hour of landing we were checking into the Bayview ST Hotel. However, our room wasn't ready so we used the funky luggage deposit lockers and decided to explore our surroundings. The Bayview Hotel is on the border between Zira and Sliema and overlooks the magnificent Marsmset Harbour area with its yachts and speedboats. This waterfront area is a delight to explore with bars and shops and restaurants all trying to lure you in and fill you with food and drink. It would be very easy not to explore anywhere but this waterfront but that's not what we came for so we kept walking into the Salima town area. The 30 degree heat however did mean we needed to condition our bodies for these hours of exploration. Gelato time! It's great to be back here in Valletta. We were here about six weeks ago and we're back here with something different with Salima now. We're going to stay here for a few days. We're going to start our holiday with a gelato of course because a gelato a day keeps the doctor away. Oh, I've missed this. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Well, I've gone for dragon fruit. I've never tried this before, so we'll see what it tastes like. It Life looked quite tasty. nice. Right, let's try. Mmm! It's a real sort of like, like a berry sort of type taste. Really refreshing. I definitely recommend this one. This spot in St Anne's Square was a delight sheltered and bustling with tourists soaking up their surroundings. Then some exploring around Sliema, and we discovered the waterfront area with its incredible stone bath. Described as Sliema's Roman baths, these stone-cut chambers with inlets for the sea have a questionable Roman heritage, but were widely used in Victorian times. They are quite a thing and are used by locals for a relatively safe dip in the warm Mediterranean waters. Mmm, this looked fun and we agreed that at some point on this trip we would take a bath. Hang on, we didn't bring the rubber ducks on this trip as it wasn't a cruise. We'll have to improvise I suppose. High above the stone ledge that passes for a beach are a range of beachfront bars and remembering how much we love the local cis beer we found a seat, paused for a bit of refreshment and hatched a plan on how to fill the rest of the day. Here we are, we're Hiya. back. We're back in Malta. I uh, love this place so much. Um, so we thought we'd come here and have a long weekend here and we've got a hotel in Salima and we've not been to Salima before. We've been told it's really, really nice. So first put a call, we thought we'd have a walk into town and um, we've had a gelato. We have. We've had a beer <laughs> and we've seen some of the Raymond baths and we're thinking, wouldn't it be nice to go for a dip? Oh yeah, I definitely want to do that. But we're waiting, we've um, put our bags in, um, but our room's not ready yet. So we're going for a little trundle on um, yeah. and then going back, aren't we? Yeah, so we're at the Bayview Hotel, which is kind of halfway between Salima and Valletta. Um, yeah. But the room's not ready till two. So, two o'clock, yeah. You know, we thought we'd just come into town. Unfortunately, we've got to try and stay sober before we can go and check into our room. I think that could be a bit of a challenge. Well, I've had that one beer and I hadn't had any lunch, so it's sort of gone to my head a little. <laughs> well, we've been up since half past one this morning, so it was a very yeah. early flight. <laughs> anyway, so we've got four days here, or three and a bit days, and then we're going to have some real exciting adventures here in Malta. We're going to do Malta properly, hopefully. So, stay tuned. So we walked a bit further along the waterfront before heading back to the hotel. We noticed the waterfront at Salima was filled with vendors offering cruises to Gozo, tours around the Valletta harbours and also a ferry that takes you from Salima directly to Valletta. Okay, we've had a really good walk around Salima or Salima and it's a fantastic place. Really, really, really good. Loads of bars to cafes. We're down here by the Salima Valletta ferry. These run every half an hour. It costs two euros each way or a three pound, three euro 80 return. And it's just there. So not far from our hotel either. So we might try and do that later on in the weekend. Back at the hotel, we were able to check into our room. We had a room with a balcony, but it had an inland view. Not especially picturesque, but functional enough. Hello. Hi, and we've um, come back to the hotel and we've freshened up, which was well needed because we was. were absolutely ch shattered, weren't we? Yep. Um, so we are actually starting to feel a bit shattered, but we're only here for four days, so we're going to um, go and paint the town red, aren't we? 
Well, I'm not sure I'm painting it red, but yeah, definitely needed the three S's. And then we're going to go in into Valletta now. Um, we need a bit of bite to eat, don't we? We do. We're starving, actually. Absolutely we starving. haven't had a lot to eat today, have we? We got up at half past one in the morning to make our way to Birmingham Airport. And we, you know, yeah. We're still doing all right. Need a second wind, though. Go in there, yeah. And probably do. a few more beers, to be fair. <laughs> I think that's a me to sleep, to be fair. OK. <laughs> all right, we're looking forward to a night in Valletta. We love it. It's a really great place. So, it um, is. Right, see you soon. See you, bye. So we then headed out on the street in front of the hotel where there was a bus stop immediately the other side of the road. We are saying the bus is busy. It's very full, yeah. <laughs> right outside the hotel, what calls that? Very handy. And 20 minutes later, we had arrived in Valletta. So that was an experience, wasn't it? Right, so we've used the, the bus and it was a bit chock-a-block. Um, but for, I, I'm feeling very old, actually, because a nice young man got up and let me have his seat. <laughs> so it does make me feel a bit old. But yeah, that was really nice of him. And um, it was really nice. Saw, saw a bit of um, a Malta, which was lovely. We met some lovely people on the bus and had a lovely chat with them. Um, we're now off at the Triton Fountain. Yeah, look, the Triton Fountain's right behind us. It's a really nice fountain. We used the Talinia card we bought at the airport. They're 21 euros for unlimited four days of travel. Um, I'll tell you this, you just tap it as you get on the bus and off you go. Lovely and easy, isn't nice it? Nice and easy. Yeah. And pretty reasonable as well. So we've got four days of unlimited travel. For... You've got an app as well, don't you? Yeah, you there's an app on the phone. There's an app on the phone. You mm. just tell it where you want to go to and it actually tells you what bus to get on, where to walk to and what yeah. time. Like, it's Lovely really and cool. easy, isn't it? It's really good. Mm. Anyway, so we're going to go and explore Valletta now and um, try and get a bite to eat. We're going to find that street I'm food starving. market. Yeah. Oh yeah, the street food market, definitely. Okay. We felt the Talinia Explorer card was great value for money. And for comparison, the hop-on, hop-off bus cost £31.75 per person for a one-day ticket and has a restricted set of routes. And the Talinia app is brilliant for helping you select the quickest route to your destination. Central Valletta bus station is right by the ever so impressive Triton Fountain outside the main city gate. And from here, it was easy to wander into Valletta's maze of narrow streets. We've loved this place on previous visits and isn't it amazing that we still need even more souvenirs? Then Rumbling Bellies drove us into Valletta's awesome street food court. What a selection of foods from around the world there were, and Maltese foods of course. Hmm, what to have? Well, we're spoiled for choice. There's so much to choose from in here. Um, what am I going to go for? I don't know, I'll let you know later. We circled round and around, trying to decide what to have. I've gone for the lemon chicken, uh, so just waiting for it to come. We've been given one of these little things, so we wait until it beats and then we'll go and collect it. Um, we're just going to go and have one of these nice um, lemonades and um, just wait for it. I'm so excited. Yay! And the food finally arrived. Okay, here we are. Big reveal time. It's foodie review. It we've gone is. for the Chinese tonight, so we go have. for it. Nelly, what have we got? Right, well, we've got lemon chicken and we've got noodles. So I'm going to just try the noodles first. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Looks good. Really tasty. Full of flavour. I think the noodles have been cooked in some sort of broth. Okay. So really nice. The now, the lemon chicken. Oh wow, that was amazing. Really, it's crispy, and it's got a really nice sweet lemony flavour. Really nice. It said on the menu it had like honey and sesame seed mm. and lemon. Delicious, and we're finishing it off with a homemade oh. lemonade. Oh, that's my favourite. And it's got mint on the top, let's try that. That is so refreshing and it's really minty as well. Cool. It's a brilliant. Out of five? Five out of five. All right, good Amazing. Review. Clean plates all around. Well done, Nettie. Great choice. The letter was coming to life and the party atmosphere was developing in the city streets. The bars and cafes make great use of the steps and alleyways. It's insta-perfect and the only difficulty is trying not to accidentally photobomb somebody's Instagram pose. When we've cruised from Valletta previously, the dockside bars and cafes looked so inviting, but so far we've never visited them. Time to change that then. Down on the quayside, bumped into an old friend. There she is, the Azura. So we've sailed from here a few times and every time we've been here and sailed away, there's always been some lovely bars and restaurants on the quayside here. We've always said, you know, we must do that. So we're going to try and find a bar 
and try and find a nice glass of wine and just soak up the atmosphere. Maybe the ship will sail away. It looks amazing at night time, all the lights down here, it looks gorgeous. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll find somewhere nice. And sometimes we've seen dancers, haven't we, on the side? Yeah, some traditional Maltese dancing. Mm. Maybe so, they'll make a show tonight. Fingers crossed. Okay. Try Maltese Wines was on our to-do list for this holiday, and we found a nice dockside bar with a friendly waiter to tick this one off the list. Wine review time. Right side, what do you think of this local wine? Well, we wanted to try the local Maltese wine. We've gone for a Palatino Sauvignon Blanc, which is uh, you know, um, locally made. Uh, tasting notes are that it's uh, generous notes of exotic fruits and lychees, it says. Well, I can honestly say it, it's quite a fruity number. I would say it's quite, it's not sweet. It's more medium than sweet, I would say. It's definitely not dry. It's very smooth uh, and very kind of uh, easy on the palate. It's quite a drinkable wine. I don't think that bottle's gonna last very long at all. And it was very reasonably priced, so. What would you give it out of five? Oh, good four and a half, I think. Right. A really good drinkable wine. That's very good. Thumbs up. Right, cheers. This moment sped past, and as the light failed, Piano Azura came to life. And it was lovely just to sit on the dock and listen to the sounds of the ship, knowing that those aboard were setting off on a brilliant adventure. And the wine had been good. Very, very good, actually. But we wanted to soak up more of Valletta's light knife. And Nettie wanted to photograph as many animals on the Valletta streets as she could find. And we took the Baraka lift up into the city. This costs one euro and speeds you up into the city without climbing all those steps, which, let's be honest, would have accelerated our enjoyment of all the wine we just drank. The upper Baraka gardens are beautiful day and night, and we took a moment to savour the gorgeous nighttime views across the harbour. And as we wandered down past Jean de Valette Square, we heard music. Not dance music, but an orchestra. This was a rehearsal for a music from the movie show that plays at the Open Air City Opera House and those sat at the surrounding bars and restaurants were enjoying the tunes. With alcohol well and truly in our systems and loving the city buzz, we decided to join in the party and find a cocktail bar. It's cocktail review time. We found a nice little cocktail bar called Gin's Cow in the back streets in Valletta and we've ordered a couple of cocktails. So what have you gone for? Um, I think it's um, a sort of a take on a margarita. All right, it's um, a tequila thing or something, isn't it? I think so, yeah. And he was basically saying that it's got um, some... Um, um, frozen avocado or something? Yeah, I think it was frozen avocado or frozen avocado stone or something instead of ice. Looks interesting. Okay, taste, I'll find off out. you go. Right. First time tasting. That's nice. Right. It's got like a smoky, the, the um, salt around the edge is like a smoky salt. Yeah. Mm. I like that. That's nice. Out of five? Five out of five. It's a really wow. good cocktail. Top review. Now it's Simon's turn for his cocktail review. So, and what have you gone for, Si? I wanted a mojito, but they don't serve them here because it's a very limited range of spirits, mainly tequila-based cocktails here. So he's offered me this thing called a Maltese donkey, which has got ginger beer in it and mint and other stuff in it, as well as tequila. Right. So, and taste it and find out. Here we go. Oh, that's weird. Oh, a nice weird? Yeah, it is quite a nice weird. I can see why he offered it as an alternative mojito, because it's got that mint, refreshing sort of aftertaste. But the initial sourness that you get on the hito is replaced with something completely weird and different. Uh, it's quite fruity. Um, okay. So, yeah, and interesting. Not much ginger in that, though. So, um, I, was right. quite surprised. I thought it was going to be more gingery and spicy. But What would you give it out of five? I'd probably give it a, a solid four. Right, that's good. <laughs> and then disaster struck. Or should I say, bird poo struck. Okay, what's the drama? <laughs> Sorry, keep that out, please. Um, I've just been sitting here and Bird has just pooed on my head. Pooed on your head? Yeah, I thought, what the hell's that? And then, oh my goodness, there is a bird poo on the floor and a little bit of my hair. Oh, there is a bit of muck on the floor. So, look at your head. 
Uh, oh yeah, there is a tiny bit of muck in your hair as well. <laughs> oh well, you'll have a nice shower tonight. It's supposed oh. to be lucky, you know. Yeah, it's not very lucky. You're in Malta, you're very lucky. <laughs> Alright, okay, drama for the evening. So this is supposed to be lucky, right? We headed for the bus station. So we're having a call this an early night because somebody's got poo in their hair. Okay, but the uh, the bad luck is continuing because the buses don't seem to be running back to Salima or Zira. Uh, and they're going to drop us somewhere short, so we're not sure how far short. Um, we might end up having to walk it or get an Uber. Not a drama, but somebody does need a shower because she's covered in bird poop. <laughs> And the buses again were very, very busy. So the bus has dropped us just outside Zira. And we got a bit of a walk, probably about 15, 20 minute walk up to the hotel. This is fine, we need a shower. We've been up since half past one this morning, so, but we're also seeing some pretty funky venues. Look at this place here, Jungle Joy. That seems buzzing. There's a guy break dancing out here just a minute ago. Quite bizarre. But anyway, we'll have to try it out later in the weekend. Cheers. And we walk back through Zira streets, which seemed just as lively as Valletta, and we soon arrived back at the hotel. Letty cleaned herself up, and we turned in. So we made it back to the hotel, and I think it was a case of bird poo stop play, which was a shame, but Nettie's in the shower now, clearing herself and getting rid of all traces of bird poo. Just one of those things. But we've been up since half past one this morning, and I'm amazing. It's like nearly 10 o'clock now, and we're still going, and but we've had a great evening, an amazing bottle of wine down on the quayside. Valletta's got an amazing vibe, it's just so bustling, so lively, it's got a real vibe. And then of course we had that incredible cocktail before the bird poo struck. Um, but yeah, really good evening, shame about the bus and everything at the end, but hey, it was a nice walk up around the harbour uh, back to the hotel. So we're going to turn in now got a busy day tomorrow we're going to go exploring some of the island and make most of our bus pass that we bought okay tune in tomorrow cheers it had been a long day but we had quickly rediscovered why we were so keen to come back to malta and why wearing a hat is always a good idea if you like what we do and you want to see more of our ventures please like and subscribe cheers